Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Um, did okay uh, on the um, Pro Box card. Uh, but we're going to get into uh, Cash Ali and Joe Joyce fight. Uh, this is a, not a very intriguing fight, but I got a lot of requests to do the video, so I'm going to do the video. Was it my first choice, but I listened to y'all the people. Y'all the people. Tell me you want to see this video. Get enough of y'all. And, and I will do it. And, and y'all want to see me break down Joe Joyce and Cash Ali. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Block on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book, you come to you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. I don't gamble, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. I'm sure there's a, always a bull market somewhere. I don't gamble, but we use DraftKings. Uh, for this, you can't even use DraftKings in Texas, but uh, you bet a sport of boxing. Uh, if you do sports betting, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Uh, join the Patreon. Uh, you get the lock of the week. The lock of the week will drop on Thursday. Uh, we'll get you uh, paid. We will get money. We, we consistently hit on the lock of the week as we consistently hit on everything. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, lock of the week gets a I mean, the, the Patreon gets the lock of the week, gets you a free t shirt. It gets you, you can ask the, uh, Ask the bookie anything. Ask me anything. Ask me to break down any fight. I will break it down for you. I will show you how to make money. And I'll handicap any fight for you. Um, please. And a uh, ton of other perks, too. It's just $5 a month. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right. Let's get into today's show. Um, Cash Ali, 6'6", 250. Uh, he has really no wins of note, so he's got more opponents bitten. He's bitten more opponents than he has wins over quality opponents. Um, he's got a record of 21-2. and two. Uh, He's got 12 knockouts. He, he's not a, a big hitter. His last fight, he lost to a 6-1 and one guy. Um, I'm not really a fan. He, he's got a few stoppages before that. His last real opponent of note is all the – way back in 2019, and that was when he bit uh, David Price. Uh, other than that, it was really he, he fought Thomas Select, which was his best win probably. He scored a third-round TK. I don't know if you guys know who that is, uh, but he was a uh, super slow. What is he, German, Polish? What is he, Thomas Select? The, uh, Czech Republic. I don't even know what you call someone from the Czech Republic. It's, it's neither here nor there. Uh, but Cash Ali is a big plotting guy. He uses his jab. He's got a nice, nice snappy jab. He moves okay for a for a guy his size. Very patient. Um, likes to be long. You know, likes to use his his, his height and his and his length. He likes to fight at long range. You know, he doesn't throw a ton of punches. He doesn't have big power, but he's got this big, strong body. It's a bit fat and soft. He's not really lean. He's a little loose in the middle. I would go after his body. I don't think Joe Joyce is going to do that. Joe Joyce is not really much of a body puncher. He doesn't open up much. He doesn't give you a lot to work with. He wants to be at long range. You got to press the action. He, he he has the ability to go to the body. He's done it. He doesn't do it much. He moves and he circles pretty well for a guy his size. He throws his uppercut a bit. Uh, I don't love his uppercut. He's gotten the knockout with it over slack. Uh, he telegraphs it. He shows it. I'm not a fan. Obviously, it's got a little, little little bit of stank on it when it lands. I'm not a big fan of Cash Ali. I, I know some people are. They think he's pretty good. I don't see it. Joe Joyce, I think, is clearly the much better fighter, and I'm not a Joe Joyce fan. I'm not really a fan of either of these guys, but y'all asked for this video, so I'm doing it. Joe Joyce, 6'6", 265, has a record of 15-2. Two knockouts. Obviously, he's coming off the two uh, KO stoppages, two stoppage losses uh, to, to, to Big Bang Zhang. Um, Joyce is what he is. You know, we, we've seen Joyce a lot. He's slow, and he's mostly a one-fisted fighter. He's got this really good jab, thudding jab. He's, a, he's mostly a jabber. He really refuses to let the right hand go. He circles well, moves well, or a guy his size as well. 
So both these guys move a little better than you'd expect to see from guys that size. 6'6", 265-ish. We've seen them fluctuate in weight. And then Ali is 6'6", 250-ish. They, 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 they move okay for guys that size. They're not as slow as, and plotting and hard to watch as, as you might think, although this fight is going to be a bit hard to watch. George doesn't move his head, so he, he, he's going to get stuck with the jab. But it, fortunately for him, if you get in a battle of jabs with him, he's going to win that battle. He, he can turn his jab over a little bit. He turns it over to the hook. That's really his power shot. He'll lead with the left hook a little bit. He's really hesitant to let the right hand go. He's really hesitant to go to the body. He, he's mostly a jabber. He's strong as hell. He can keep you at distance. He can walk you down. He can do what he, he wants with you because he's a really strong guy. He likes to march forward, but he's easy to hit. So you can tag him when he does. This is what Zhang did to him. He doesn't waste a lot of energy, which is good for a guy that size. I think if this fight does go in the later rounds, that's going to play well. I think he breaks down Cash Ali. He probably gets a late stoppage. He can stay out of range and, and make you miss. That's kind of his defense. Although not his defense, is basically pulling at you and you know knocking your jab hand down. He can be hit with the with the power shot with the, with the rear shot. He lunges with his jab at times. He can get a little sloppy. You can find him with your jab. You can find him. But his jab is ultimately better than yours, so he's going to find you more with his jab than you are with his. But he's flawed. I'm not a huge fan. He doesn't throw in any combinations. He's like he's wide open to be countered. What the heck is going on here? Basically, he's a strong guy with a jab. It's basically what he is. Again, I didn't want to do this fight. Y'all wanted to see it. I'm going to show you how these odds are, and, and these odds are ridiculous. But Cash Ali really has no chance, and the odds are kind of kind of indicate that. The only thing uh, DraftKings has is the money line. It's easy to me. Would it make a two times bet? Joe Joyce is minus twenty five hundred. Not a ton of money to make on this. I don't even think. I don't even think we're going to um, parlay this fight. There's better things. If you guys want lock of the week, join that. I don't think this is going to be a part of it unless they add props to this uh, over, under, and, and other props. But this is just not really worth it to me. $200 bet makes you $8. And that's all we have is a money line bet. I've heard people want to bet on Ali. They think they want to, they think they worth it. I can't see how Ali really has any chance in this fight. Although, you know, maybe Joe Joyce is shot, and that's why people want to take his gamble on Cash Ali. I don't think it's worth it. If you want to bet on this fight, take Joe Joyce. Make the little bit of money. Lock the profit in. It's, I don't think there's any risk here. It, it's not making you a lot of money, but it, it, it is profit. I wish these odds were a little more realistic. But I got Joe Joyce times two. A two times bet makes you eight bucks. I told y'all I didn't want to do this video. Y'all wanted it. I, I give y'all what you want. Joe Joyce on the money line. It's as simple as that. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, we're going to bring down the house together. There's always a bull market somewhere. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently bring down the house and make money betting on the sport of boxing. Please join the Patreon. Show your support. It's just $5 a month. It gets to the lock of the week, which comes out Thursday uh, this week. Sometimes it comes out Wednesday. It just depends what day the, the big fights are. Get the lock of the week. Get the free T-shirt. You can ask the bookie anything. I'll handicap any fight for you. A ton of other perks. Just $5 a month. Show your support so I can make these videos full time. Um, and join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, as well. It is March 13th, 2024. Uh, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.